Um, I just felt like a really bad headache. But that headache was a concussion, one of thousands that are suffered every year by high school athletes. Thanks for looking in tonight. I'm Sam Merrill. And I'm Colette Boyd. Over the past few years, research has really given us a clearer picture of the long-term effects of concussions. It has also shown that uh, prevention and diagnosis more important now than ever. TV5's Elena Holland now on how athletes are staying ahead of the game. In high school sports, there are a lot of opportunities to hit your head and get a concussion. Um, most of the time, they come to the bench and they're really like disoriented. Julian Molzen is a sophomore at Grand Blanc High School, where she's on the hockey team. She often sees her teammates lose a lot of time on the ice due to concussions. Um, usually when my teammates get concussion, they are out for six weeks. But with concussions, there are a lot of guesswork, guessing if you have one or not, and how long you need to rest after banging your head. But a new machine at a physical therapy center in Grand Blanc is taking that guesswork away. So it's something that we can test pre-concussion and post-concussion to kind of see the amount of sway or balance deficits that a person might have. So the way the machine works is it tests your balance and whether your balance is off or not, that could determine if you have a concussion. I got hit in the head and then my head hit the boards after that. Joe Tomzak also plays hockey at yeah. Grand Blanc High School. He did get a concussion a few years ago, but he may have returned to the ice too soon for his balance to fully return. I know, it just felt like a really bad headache for like a week and then after that it kind of went away. But if Joe had used this machine, experts at an advanced physical therapy center say he would know when was the right time, even if it was before the required six weeks. But by using this machine, we might get them back to baseline to where they initially started a lot sooner and get back onto the field maybe two weeks sooner or, you know, three weeks sooner or anything like that. And for Jillian, she says she'd use the machine if she hits her head because it's important to her to get back into the game. Oh, well, we just try to be the best we can be. And Grand Blank, Elena Holland, WNEM TV. Be fine.